What's your favorite thing about Key Club? My favorite thing about Key Club is that it is one big happy family and everyone will say that no matter what club you're in, but Key Club, you really bring together and show each other in your most vulnerable states in our activities and I really like uh, that anybody can join. My favorite thing about Key Club is just the community. It's honestly such a good community and I'm a freshman so when I first started I was just brought in by so many amazing upperclassmen and I'm just grateful to have them in my, like right beside me doing all this fun volunteering and it's just a fun community yeah. fun. giving back to my community i really like key club because i like working with other people as advisors starting the 2020 2021 school year our biggest challenge was finding a way that we could honor all of the things that our key clubbers loved about key club while also keeping us safe during this pandemic um, we really struggled with what kind of events we were going to have because some of our favorites weren't going to be able to happen this year. Um, we also wanted to find a way that even though our students weren't face-to-face -face every day having meetings and doing volunteer events, that we could still stay like a tight family and a close family and we could support each other um, and just kind of keep our Key Club spirit alive. After a little bit of mourning over all of the events that we weren't going to be able to do, um, our officers and advisors sat down and decided that our best course of action was to use the tool that businesses and schools all over the country were using, and that is technology. As a faculty advisor from Mustine High School Key Club, technology has really been invaluable this year since we haven't been able to see our students every day. Um, we connect a lot using Google Classroom. We use it for announcements. We use it to keep all of our agendas and registration and sign up forms. We even have been taking attendance using a Google form online. There's also a Google Calendar that keeps all key clubbers updated on events and meetings and things going on within our club. Hi guys, I'm Putiba Katri and I'm the co-president for Mustatine Key Club. I'm Yasmin Ringo. I'm also the other co-president. In previous years, our usual meetings, we would go, we would all meet in a room and go over the agenda with the paper attendance. However, this year specifically, we added Google Classroom to help engage our Key Club members and um, keep our administrations uh, at ease with COVID restrictions and guidelines. On the course stream, we are able to most recall announcements for any district events or any last minute volunteer opportunities so our club members can remain active. We are able to quickly set up any prospective club members, and those who wish to leave have the option to simply remove themselves from the classroom. With club officers listed as, office, as teachers, this allows officers to make these announcements and add in members as the year progresses. A big benefit of using classroom is being able to post classwork. In this section, we post a weekly meeting attendance sheet form and agenda with promotional welcome back information. I think it's been super helpful this year, especially with the hackiness of this year. It's been nice that we keep everything organized and be able to have a place to keep everything. Club members have easy access to all resources we post. All students do, all students do is simply sign up for the classroom via code. We usually put this code on our social media and push it out at the beginning, at the beginning of meetings and agenda. Here's a quick look at how easy it is for key clubbers to log into Google Classroom, find this week's meeting agenda, click on a volunteer opportunity, and sign up using Google Forms. With the addition of Google Classroom, our club has been able to adopt Google Meet to be able to hold meetings virtually. This year has been a huge success and has been able to connect to multiple key club members. As this year, our school started off as being hybrid with the option of 100% virtual, we would have students join in on our meets via virtually. As soon as the Google Meet starts, um, they ha students have the option of clicking on the link and joining in to our, our meetings with easy access. The Meet still remains intact with all students, students who are 100% quarantined or cannot meet in person. Join the Google Meet. To log on, the students simply just click on the link listed on Google Classroom. With Google Classroom, we make it more accessible for students at home. Uh, we always include the link in our 
Google Classroom bio up top of the banner where people can easily just click on it and join. And then our meeting is a very short, it lasts about 30 minutes. We encourage students to be as fun as possible. We don't like our meetings to be boring. We like to get to know about each other. We like to be very involved with each other. Um, so we suggest that you show us like your dog or, you know, your cat or even just your sibling. Like, honestly, just show us anything. Keep it cool, keep it interesting. We don't like to be boring. We like to be running around. Um, I think it's really fun to do it from home because then you can really see what people are like outside the school environment. And I think that shows a lot about our club. Can you, put in, can you explain what it's like to join a meeting virtually? Um, it's a lot different than like in person, but it's really nice to stay connected even through like COVID and all these hard harder times. So it's really nice to be there in the meeting, but also stay safe and socially distanced. Obviously joining a meeting virtually is not as engaging, but I feel like joining it virtually does allow me to still be engaged rather than just miss out on a meeting. So when I'm at home, because I'm quarantined or during our hybrid learning days, it, it was really helpful to make sure I'm involved. The other app that we use a lot as advisors this year, and I recommend for all ClickUp advisors to use, is Remind. So Remind allows students to sign up for announcements using their cell phone. Um, they text a certain code to the number 81010. Um, and what this does is it allows us to send out announcements or have individual conversations with students using the program Remind. So instead of texting directly from our phones, we're able to text through either the web-based program or a smartphone app. Besides signing up with their text messages, students and parents can also sign up using the smartphone app or an email. So this app allows us to send out notifications to the entire club about upcoming meetings or volunteer opportunities. It also allows us to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with students if they have specific questions about upcoming, upcoming activities or events. We can also push out announcements to a group. For instance, we have a group for our 2020-2021 officers so that we can send them specific announcements about um, exec board meetings. You can also schedule reminders. So every week we schedule reminders to go out for upcoming meetings and volunteer activities. Oh no, I'm late for my keynote meeting. <laughs> Club meeting. Thanks to Remind. Remind has allowed us to keep in touch with both our whole club as well as our officers. On Remind, we are able to create a Remind group and we talk to each other and plan on officers' meetings. And then any random ideas are shared in this group. The Reminds are sent a little before meetings start and give an insight into what is to come into the meeting, such as donuts, bring a buddy, or award ceremonies, or big planning events such as a talent show. It's also a great way for us to communicate as a group. It's like a little group chat for just us key clubbers, which is great. Reminds are actually very helpful. I find that when I sign up for stuff, I don't always um, am able to keep it together and straight. So the reminds help me when I like need those reminders for dates. I really like Remind because it reminds me if I sign up for something to volunteer, and I completely forget, it helps me know that, oh, I can actually go help and enjoy myself with the fellow key clubs. From a officer's perspective, last year and this year, I believe that technology has extremely benefited us as a club and helped keep our club fully functional this year. It has made everything easier and eco-friendly as our club has went completely paperless. It brings me a lot more comfort to know that we are being safe and taking extra measures to prevent the spread and prevent being sick around others. And I, it just brings me comfort knowing that I'm okay and I've done everything that I can to be safe. In previous years, uh, our club has not really touched on technology as much. We used occasional reminds. However, I think the Google Classroom really just helps us keep functional and we have a record of what we do in the club. Another benefit to using technology this year is even though now our key clubbers are all back together, uh, two weeks ago we switched back to 100% in-person attendance for all of our students. 
Uh, so we've been able to actually resume normal key club meetings for the first time since March. Um, but because we've been using technology all year, we decided to keep the technology. The students still love having classroom and remind for all of their announcements. Um, and it's been great to see all the key clubbers back together for the first time. Um, and they really already know each other um, because even though they haven't been in class with each other, um, our members have been seeing each other virtually and in classroom and making comments and volunteering all year. So it's just kind of like one big family is now back together. Overall, our volunteer opportunities and meetings look a lot different this year, but we are really proud of how our key clubbers and key clubbers all over the II district have found a way to build leaders, serve their communities, and serve each other during this trying time.